What's up gamers, I'm Adal, and today I'll be showing you a very interesting build order with Chinese, as used by Slam in Master of Arena 6, where he was the only player who uh, managed to win a game against Dalt using this very special strategy. So let's go into it. The Chinese are a archery civilization, where you start with uh, 3 additional villagers, 50 less wood, and 200 less food. The all of this cost 10% uh, less feudal, 15% less castle, and 20% less imperial age. Town centers support uh, 10 population and grants you an, an additional 5 land of sight. Then you have an uh, irrelevant sponsor and some irrelevant uh, technologies that could be useful in other scenarios. Then there's a the team bonus. Farms contain an additional 10% food, which is very useful. And then to the build. So as you can see, we have no food and 50%, sorry, 50 less wood. And we have uh, six villagers set. So what you want to do here now is uh, to garrison these five villagers into the town center, to gather them, send one sheep in the middle, and use the spare villager to build a house. And you can see in the bottom right there, you can see the villager distribution. What the villagers are and what resources. Oh, and uh, how many. So after we build our house there, you want to send the villager back to the sheep. And as soon as we can afford to, we make a villager. And as opposed to most build orders, the Chinese, you want seven villagers on sheep in the beginning, and not six. The reason for that is that um, you need more food faster to sustain the villager production. And once you have uh, seven villagers on sheep, you send the next four villagers onto wood. Meanwhile, I'm just scouting around, finding our essential resources. Once we found them, now venture out, explore the rest of the map. It's quite intense in the beginning because you have to um, manually deposit the right time to sustain the villager production. And on this map generation, it's found with only three dares. Sometimes you're best with four, but. Uh, here you can see it's, it can be done with three as well. Okay, so now I'm sending one of the seven shepherds to get the first four. And you want uh, four sheep to spear. The next villager will send to build two houses. And we'll be sending the next three villagers on to uh, berries, including this villager, for four in total. Four on wood, four on berries. And uh, seven on boars for now. We'll be making three more villagers afterwards to add to the war. And then the deers. Here um, I realized I was a bit late to get the second uh, boar, so I compensated by sending one of the berry pickers or foragers to get the boar instead of one of the boar eaters. <laughs> Perfect the set time still. So we have four on the berries, the rest goes on the town center. Now I already make a farm. We want to make uh, farms as soon as possible there. Because they uh, are the fastest uh, source of food. And we need uh, all the food really faster. Because it'll be very tight to go up. So I'm starting to push theirs already. Making a second uh, farm. I'll be making two more farms uh, later on. 
as we can afford it. Four, four in total. And once we have uh, 10 builders on the town center, we're sending a few more builders onto wood for 7 in total. So one more now to wood. As you finish up uh, during the, the, or pushing rather, the last tier. And the last villager is sent onto gold before going up. Now we have to quickly force deposit. There we go. And the idea behind this uh, builder here is that he'll collect uh, 30 gold. So that we don't have to make a mining camp. Instead, we'll uh, sell 100 wood in the market, we should make here. And that will give us 70 gold. So, 70 gold plus. 30 gold, collect what is a villager head, will give us enough to go up to the castle edge. Save some resources we can use to boom faster with. Now this villager will make one last trip before joining the other shepherds and gathering food. I have now prepared the three villagers to, to mill the market and want to build a blacksmith. The market uh, builds a little slower, so that's why we have two villagers and not just one. So that they will be done in about the same time. We could two more builders, we should send to wood. Once I mark this up, we'll uh, sell 100 wood. And boom, then we force deposit and go up to the castle edge. As you can see, it's really tight. And when done correctly, we'll be two builders ahead. He's, uh, Two is ahead now, <laughs> now actually, but that's because he's still in the field edge. And we're already on the way to the castle edge. Oh, and uh, I sent two villagers from town center off to wood. So we have 12 in total now. And one number again. Need. Uh, a lot of wood now to afford the two town centers as fast as possible. So now I'm Wait. trying to get some fire trees there, leaving two villagers to finish off the last sheep. I sent one of the berry pickers to build some houses there. So we want the uh, top kept once we reach the cast stage. Start adding some more farmsters now soon. And reach the castle edge at uh, 13 10, which is pretty fast. As you can see now, I'm adding two additional town centers. And as soon as uh, we get uh, 60. Wood, we use it immediately to build farms. We'll be making farms now pretty much non stop until we have 30. We can make 32 actually. And once uh, the eco is uh, flowing uh, good enough, we'll get some, uh, some upgrades. 
As you can see, I'm like 15 millimeters ahead there. Uh, well, 10 millimeters now. It'll quickly become 15. And I'm just uh, barely managing to uh, keep the builder production going here. And uh, this uh, fourth berry picker head, or forager, is pretty much our designated uh, house builder. We've been building houses for most of this game. I'll soon now get a uh, wheelbarrow and I'll get a uh, bow saw, as well as heavy plow. Because these Chinese technologies are so much cheaper. So I have these some hunters and builders to wood. And these two, two uh, sorry, town hunters, yeah. And these two town hunters to strategies. And I'm also starting to send builders over to gold as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm, way, I'm way ahead there in builders, as you can see. <laughs> it's gotta be a difference. I'm getting wheelbarrow, also. Preparing a university. Then I'll make a siege workshop in the front there. But I don't want to make it too far in the front because I want this to be a surprise. We don't want the enemy scout to uh, see what we're up to. I'm not sending uh, builders to gold from both these top centers. Getting handcart. Starting to build a uh, barrack because we want to make some archery ranges now. And we're up to the Imperial Age. Adding some more mining camps. Getting ballistics, stone mining. Got more gold mining as well. Getting uh, crossbow research. So that we can just archer see and past it. Bodkin. While our hospital are continuing building houses. Start queuing rams. The idea here is to uh, start attacking as soon as we reach the Imperial Edge. Getting all those upgrades. Arbus upgrade, chemistry, bracer, thumb ring. Get capped rams soon as well, if we can afford that. I also start sending some builders over to stone. So if we can make a forward castle. Capped ram, yeah. Getting that leather archer armor as well. Yeah. The attacker now. It's a little different when you're playing as real players, of course. Like they wouldn't uh, make my um, Lerma camps exposing the wall and archery ranges all side. The AI in this game are just totally brainless. So, yeah. That basically concludes this, uh, this build order. And I was actually like 30 40 seconds uh, late to the Imperial Age compared to Slam in this game against that. There's still a room to improve here, for sure. So, yeah, I hope this was insightful and that you may use this in your own arena games. It's fun with some something else in the meta, you know? So boring with uh, making scouts every game, getting relics. Okay, let's look at the statistics in past. Really nice uptime set. A little bit later in Imperial Age. It's a reasonable amount of builders and yeah the timeline here just says it all
The boomer was huge. So yeah, thanks for watching, man. GG's.